No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen. La, 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 la. Hi and welcome back to part three of building our house. If you missed the first two videos, I'll put a link up in the corner here to a playlist where all of the videos that, that cover the build, are, um, you can find them all in there and not miss out on any. Okay, so the last video finished off. We got over the problem of the water table. We got the piling put into the ground and the foundations put down. At that point, we managed to get the guy from the temple to come round and do the blessing with all the, the friends and, and relatives and neighbours coming round to celebrate with us. That was done and dusted. And then Pook and I had to go back to the UK. We had to get back there to sort some things out. And so what we did, we left the build of the house to be overseen by Pook's mum, her dad, her brother and his wife. Now this video coming up, I've got no video footage of it, but what happened was the architect and Pook's mum was taking photos of each stage. Every day there were new photos sent across to us in the UK and I'm having to use those photographs, but they're really good and you can see the process that they go through to carry on with the build. So let's get straight over to it and I'll show you exactly how far we got in this second stage. So the first stage was to smooth off the ground between each of the 12 um, foundations. Then they laid down some cement and that gave them a smooth surface to be able to start building the reinforcing steel cages. Then the steel work was built and put in place on top of each of the 12 foundation stones for the upright posts. Next they built these reinforced steel cages to join the 12 uprights together but also to sit beneath any walls that were going to be built. At the same time as building and laying these, um, these steel cages they started to do some block work and lay the waste pipes for the downstairs shower room. Once the reinforced steel cages were complete, the steel shutter room was put in place ready to pour the concrete. At the same time as filling the shuttering, they also laid the floor for the downstairs shower. Once the cement had cured, the shuttering was removed and then you could see the actual floor plan. You could see where the walls were going to go and the layout of the ground floor. You should be able to make out the black pipes that are running around these concrete beams that have been laid. What they're for is you get someone to come round, I've been told once a year, and they put this fluid into, these, into those pipes from outside the building and it flows all the way round and it's supposed to prevent uh, any kind of infestation from termites. And these are the pipes that will eventually be fitted to the outside wall where they actually pump the fluid in. The next job was to infill all the areas in between the concrete beams and then just pack it right down using one of those vibrating plates to compact it all down. And then to finish off the ground floor, or we're in Thailand so we should call it the first floor I suppose, they laid down a waterproof membrane, put the um, steel reinforcement over the top of that and then just infilled with concrete. So with the ground floor complete, it's onwards and up. Let's see how they get on with the uh, staircase and the first floor. The 12 reinforced steel uprights that they put in place were then wrapped in the steel shuttering, ready for the cement to be poured in and give us the post that will hold up the first floor. I have to say, these guys are not shy of a bit of hard work. They're grafters, they really are. Absolutely incredible team. They're just working flat out all the time they're on site. You don't get the usual steel acros that we see back at home to support the upper floors that's being constructed. They use these wooden poles. They're pre-cut, pre-sized, and they just bring them in, put them in place, and they'll support the shuttering and the reinforced steel ready for the upper level to be constructed.
Once the main beams were cast and the shuttering was taken off, they laid these concrete slabs across the beams and that made up the upstairs floor. Then as with downstairs they laid the waterproof membrane, put down the reinforced steel and then just covered it with cement just to smooth it right off. And that was the upstairs floor complete. Next came the staircase which was constructed by using uh, shuttering ply, another intricate web of reinforced steel and then once it was all in place they, they just poured the cement into it. As with downstairs, it was exactly the same procedure to get the pillars in on the upper level. Although this time they had a crane to help with pouring the cement. And the final part of this building stage was getting the roof put on. Decided to do this just before the rainy season kicked in. And we thought better to do this to give it a bit of protection and also see if there's any wet patches or any leaks before the, um, before the ceiling's put up in place. Thanks very much for watching and I'll be back again soon to give you an update as to how the build's going.